So the 2023 best, no, 2024 best <laughs> platinums and worst platinums of the year. Not just the 2024 game of the years or anything like that. The best games we've done, the worst games we've done of 2024. So I'll kick us off with the worst because everyone knows how fucking is it the game. platinum itself or <laughs> yes. the entire game? Yeah, platinum, yeah, platinum itself. Game. Platinum itself um, is for me Avatar. Avatar is the worst game I've played this year by quite a margin. Uh, mm. As someone that loves Avatar, the movies, both movies, loves the world, loved that PS3 game. I'm sure everyone here's played, um, and loves Far Cry. It was meant to just be Far Cry with blue people, and it was shit. It was nothing. There was no story. There was dead air. It was like run everywhere for half the game. You could use your ick run after a few hours, but then it was just boring sky, just sitting there on autopilot until you got to another of the 5,000 collectibles. The game was not short. And the only good thing about the whole game was firing an arrow into someone and the sound it made as it hit their chest. Other than that, and the graphics and the graphics the graphics were pretty good other than that the game is utter garbage in my opinion (laughs) and the platinum is even worse because it forces you to 100 percent it collect everything in the game i mean i think a few people watched it i made the video on it at the end of it i was just relieved it was done but if you've got a worse game of the year than how i feel about avatar be surprised because i hate it um (laughs) but I don't know who wants to go next to try and top Avatar for the worst, anyway. But are you doing your whole list of bad games? No, no, no. You, someone else, someone else, go for another one. We'll go round the clock right. and we'll cheer well, it up I've with got... throwing in a good uh, one as well. <laughs> okay, well, on mine for sure. If we're speaking of platinums and objectively bad, is probably Skull and Bones. Um, I, I enjoyed it because I'm a bit biased. I was looking forward to it for years uh, and love pirate stuff. But the platinum was broken, so how can I say it's a good platinum? Uh, and there was some, there was some good trophies on there and whatnot, but it was, yeah, overall just what a waste of their resources and time. Honestly, <laughs> should have just made back flag too. And mm. having having a broken platinum, like I've got another game on this list that also by Ubisoft had a broken platinum on release. Um, yeah, it's terrible. It's awful. It's like so. It's pathetic from like. Triple A that devs, honestly, it's dumb. It's How long so did it annoying. take for the platinum to be achievable? Um, I could go, go and check, but I want to say like a month or <laughs> something. Oh, wow, well. and I'm sure it's an they, easy fix. Are they both they had, achievable? They didn't now? Have... Pardon, are they both achievable now? Yeah, um, one was sorted, well, so the other one was Outlaws, Star Wars Outlaws, and that got fixed in a couple weeks or something whereas skull and bones you needed to use the chat so they hadn't even they didn't even have the chat available on release uh so it was just oh wow yeah you needed to to say hello (laughs) yeah and then and then obviously we're really we're releasing content and you just get like plebs like but you didn't get the platinum it's like well yeah because it's not there (laughs) (laughs) would you expect me to do (laughs) sit around and wait like (laughs) before i do my video (laughs) Uh, but yeah, those that's two. exactly what they expect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <outrageous. laughs> but yeah, those two, and uh, you know, typical, it's Ubisoft who, at this point, I hope just go under. <laughs> I get sick of it. <laughs> Not before they but, re-release Splinter Cell. Yeah, I mean, but they they get a lot of third-party devs to re-release these games nowadays, anyway. So someone else mm. can do it. They just need to give the rights over. They've had like they've had a terrible yeah. year because like, have you seen that like X Defiant is uh, being delisted yeah. as well? Yeah, really? the COD killer. Yeah, yeah. Next year it's being delisted. They're giving like full refunds that. and stuff, like for wow. it. It's yeah, it's only been out a couple months, isn't it? Six months maybe. Yeah, like I guess I didn't realize that. that was a Ubisoft game, but I never once looked into it myself. Yeah, you played yeah. as uh, the different characters so you'd play as like the people in the splinter cell gear and people from ghost recon they were just that's it yeah you you got the ghost you've got third echelon you had far cry someone from far cry i think the gorillas or something the gorillas yeah Hmm. yeah it was it it was actually an all right game like online 
JC and I played it for a little bit and it was pretty yeah, it was, fun. I, it was a lot of fun to be honest, but just didn't have time for it because we were doing yeah. doing content. But yeah, it was, it was good. Okay. Who can top Skull and Bones and Avatar? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you want to? I guess I'll go try Brandon? with one of mine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll try with one of mine that I've got. So uh, one I got right now is actually my most recent platinum and that was a uh, sword art online fatal bullet and oh. it, that is just a mindless grind fest like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I, like the, the story was somewhat decent and i guess like um if you guys know the sword art online um story from like the anime or the manga the games are actually a what if storyline and so a completely different story but uh, uh this game like i played a couple of them but i just could not get into this game they literally made like the main villain that would be in this particular game in the anime he was like a side character that's not even in it for five minutes so oh wow i was like okay <laughs> i was actually hoping to get something more out of that but um you know you can like breeze through the story no problem but the grind is just ridiculous like you gotta max your weapon proficiency with all the guns reach level 100 and um there's something called a bounty rank and you gotta be like number one in the bounty rank and you need like 10 million points on that and it's just you know finding a certain area and just running back and forth (laughs) through it doing whatever you can to get points so i mean i don't mind a long grind but these were not fun grinds. So yeah. I don't recommend going for the platinum on that one. <laughs> so Yeah, sounds horrible. Yeah, that doesn't sound too fun. So far we've got three good good games. <laughs> but, but fun fact, though, while I was grinding on it, I watched all the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings movies while I was doing it, and I still wasn't done. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it a bit faster though. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, a little bit. I've got right, so I've got a game that kind of got slated this year, but I, I I enjoyed playing it, but the cleanup was just really annoying. Uh, and my first one is Suicide Squad, because mm. uh, I really liked the story and the campaign in that, and I thought it was it was really well written and it was funny, um, and it was a lot of fun. But it's just like. The end game grind. So you have to do like the same three missions over and over and over and over and over again to get everyone to max level, to get your overall squad level up to like level fifty, to like get tier three rarity of weapons and stuff. And it was just, it just wasn't enough content in it. For, I, I, I mean, I know the game failed, but like for a live service game, it was like pretty piss poor. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. um, but the story's good you know play it for the story like the five or six hours but if you go is that, is that all it is though it's yeah only five hours it's something like that like it's not it's not that oh. long um but it's 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 enjoyable but the, it's just the end game there was just nothing um I, I don't know why they made it a live service or anything but you know it's why the game is being sold for 2.99 on steam at the moment <laughs> so <laughs> but yeah Hmm. are there any live service games like that have come out in the last couple years that have done well because all the ones i'm thinking of have bombed the ones that everyone keeps trying to repeat a live service game and that method but they're all going under or no one plays them and they just stick with the you know the fortnights and the call of duties and you know the battlefields destiny's still going strong destiny yeah that that had an expansion last year um which i think was quite good from what I remember, um, I can't think of any others though. So yeah, I was thinking, like, like a game like that. Anthem. Anthem was meant to be, you know, JC, you were super excited about Anthem. A load of people yeah. were, and then just yeah, it looked awesome. Like, like the concept was great, and yeah, just... and, and I now, even played yeah. the demo, and I actually enjoyed it. Like, I enjoyed the demo, but uh, obviously the full game was something completely different. And people completely slated it. Mm. Yeah, oh, you got games, yeah. games like uh, Genshin Impact and stuff as well, which is like raking in money yeah. like, um, like play, play a little bit of that it's really good to be honest so it is good yeah i really like it 
um, Zenless as well, and Star Rail. Like they're all live service. Okay. Oh, that that new one I linked earlier in the Discord looks awesome. Like some anime GTA, <laughs> and you can swear oh. at Spider Man. <laughs> okay. It was a uh, an- Ananta. Yeah. Yeah. Ananta. Yeah. Yeah, that does look cool. There are some good ones. So we've got four lists. I, I can go for a second one because I did this purely out of spite. I finished this game. I wasn't going to. And it's another Ubisoft one. And it was <laughs> The course. Crew 2. <laughs> Everyone told me to play The Crew games. Everyone. Um, and uh, it's shit. It, again, it's good for like a couple hours. And I play so many racing games. And everyone just raves on about these games. It's so boring. It's the same races over and over again. There's collectibles in a really crappy open world car game, which is never fun. It's like, take pictures of this area. Why? Just because. And then it's all tied to trophy. So if you're just playing the game casually, I could see why people might like it. Um, It's not really a great car game, in my opinion. But I think Motorfest is a lot better from what I've seen. But the crew to itself, like the, the trophy list is, is awful. It doesn't take too long. So that's one good thing. Maybe like 30 hours, 25 to 30 hours. But when you're sick of it after five, putting another 20 of unwanted hours onto something is long. And I did not enjoy it at all. So Avatar was number one hated list. Crew 2 sh- n- quite far behind it, but I did not enjoy that one at all. Yeah, you you were miserable playing both of those. I remember like watching your uh, screen share. <laughs> you were having a bad time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that wasn't a good good couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. Have a time. Yeah. <laughs> a French fried when I should have pizzaed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to do my I, final one? Or no, you was, to... uh, I'll finish off. Uh, so I couldn't really think of many because I don't tend to just play what I, what I think I'll enjoy anyway. But I had to kind of settle for Sparking Zero Platinum-wise, just because some of it was just frustrating as hell, doing the uh, unlocking the alternate pathways and getting absolutely destroyed by the AI. But obviously, once I'd worked everything out and you can literally press like one button to knock people down and then go Sparking mode, it, it does become easy. But I think it was... Uh, a, pretty bad step up in ai and the difficulty just for those but everything else about it was amazing it was just yeah the platinum the, the grind for those alternate levels platinum wires was a bit bit annoying but yeah i don't it's not really got much to say i, I had to i had to fill out my three on that list <laughs> all right <laughs> well if you didn't have right. a third you didn't have to write a third if you only had okay two, that's, <laughs> fine. that's fine it says sparking zero there zero. by default Sparking Zero is very challenging, but for me, it was just the story mode, like trying to unlock those what if scenarios. And exactly, yeah, those those parts where you have to do it it on the phone. Yeah, and some of those, it's not really clear on like where it is. Like I remember, I got stuck on Goku Black's campaign, like trying to unlock the what if scenario for him, and I was like how are you supposed to beat this before that certain dialogue shows up? Yeah, and, it's just crazy. And then, like later on, I f- and then later on, I find out online, some I'm not even doing the right mission for it. So when I go to that mission, it's like a lot easier. But take the story mode, unlocking the what if stuff out, and the rest of it is you know, pretty enjoyable for me. Exactly. I 100% agree with that. That is just the unlocking those what ifs where you were locked into doing the hard, the harder difficulty. I guess I'll uh, go next. So uh, my next worst one, I actually do have three, but Fatal Bullet was probably number three. So number two for me is Gravity Rush, but on the Vita. Like, oh, oh I played like, that. It's so awkward. <laughs> it's awkward. Like, <laughs> I mean, so story-wise, it was fine. Story was decent. But the controls are so weird. And, you know, you're trying to play that on the Vita and, you know, like the camera in-game, like it's flipped upside down and stuff. So you're like, wait, where am I? What? (laughs) Like, it took me quite a bit getting through that. And then, you know, there's like challenges you got to do, which is like mostly like, races and you gotta like have pinpoint accuracy to hit the checkpoints to keep going 
but uh you know there were times especially playing that on the vita it was like making me dizzy and i'd have to go put it down for like a while before i went back to it but yeah yeah it's just one of my worst games just because of those controls um i know there's a second game but i don't know if i would do it or not i'm not yeah, I sure played yet. the original on the vita as well and it's yeah the controls in midair as well it's just really weird to get used to so I, I never even completed it i don't think but it's a pretty cool game though <laughs> yeah i mean i like the yeah. idea of it but i wish the controls were more friendly <laughs> yeah yeah i've only played the the ps4 version of it i can't imagine what it's like on the vita though <laughs> on the little screen <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, number two is the Skywalker saga. Oh, um, what? Oh. I, I l- love the game. I thought it was really fun, but the fucking cleanup, man. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> nah, it was fine. You just fast it's... travel everywhere. Oh, dude, that was just so it... too much. <laughs> Dude, it's like, better than Valhalla's cleanup. Like Valhalla's <laughs> cleanup is on its own level. <laughs> it, if I had planned uh, Valhalla this year, then that would be on the list as well. Like don't, I'm, I'm like two trophies away from Valhalla. Um, oh damn! But I I don't. Hmm. I've got a lot to say about Valhalla. I don't like it at all. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, look, just like like. You're getting like a thousand kyber bricks and all this and then all the characters like oh, yeah. it was just like lego like cleanups are like are a bit bloated but this was just like times five it was <laughs> crazy <laughs> what do you mean so, you don't even need all 1200 kyber bricks <laughs> oh yeah you only need a thousand but then you need to do all side <laughs> missions and then you need to do get every character and then all the upgrades and it's just like all the mini things the only levels. bit i found a bit finicky was you had to get you had to unlock the the capital ships and then go and board each of them to then find more kyber bricks and do special mini games and stuff that yeah. was a bit tedious yeah. but other than yeah. that i really liked it once i figured out like a good way of like fast traveling and stuff mm. get, yeah. like i think the game's fun like but it's just like it's just too too much <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know like black but yeah like, this is where we need to yeah make sure you're separating the platinum and the actual game yeah the game's great. Yeah, but, yeah exactly but like the platinum like pretty much asked you to do everything and there's too much in that game <laughs> so <laughs> but, um like i said my final one i just want to say isn't the full platinum it's one that i couldn't get due to a bug trophy and i cannot be fucking bothered to go back to it because oh, it's so yeah. boring now. Um, and I wanted to put Lollipop Chainsaw on the PS3 on this list. Because I've played through that story so many times. Trying to get dad's score. And get these coins. And I have his score on multiple levels. And the trophies never popped. And I got all the coins for a trophy. And it never popped. And I've restarted the game and done it again. And they not pop in. So I'm just going, do you know what? This game can get in the bin. I'm done with it. <laughs> I don't want to play it again. And then in a year's time, because it's a rare game and it's worth a lot of money on the PlayStation 3, I can't, I don't have it in me to sell it because I might want to do this next year and it might be double in price. So I'm just kind of, I put it on my list because I should have had it. And the other games are just other racing games that are just tediously shit. So I didn't want to just be boring and just put another racing game on here. So, and I still haven't finished Turnip Boy, so that can't go on it. So <laughs> it's it's going to be a great game. How dare you? <laughs> but but I just no way. Well, I haven't finished it, so it can't be that good. <laughs> Didn't, couldn't even keep me on it for more than an hour. Um, but yeah, lo- Lollipop Chainsaw for me, it, even though it's not the complete platinum, it's still one of the worst platinum things I've done this year because it should have happened three times over probably. I've probably pumped like 60 hours onto that. I've got like 40 hours of footage that is unused right now of me trying to do it and cannot do it. So, yeah, I'm going to stick it right there. Who's, who's, you've said all three of yours, haven't you, Jordan? So you're going S-Dub? Okay. <laughs> uh, my number one, I absolutely hate everything about this game like there is <laughs> nothing i love about this whatsoever it made me question my life choices the fact that i'm <laughs> platinum on this 
<laughs> and that is um Knights of Azure. So oh I wow, bought that. I bought that game uh, years ago. I think I had like three trophies on it, but you know, just part of the backlog cleanup. And I think I got maybe three fourths of the way through the story, and I was like, "This is just shit." <laughs> <laughs> like, like I cannot fall in love with this story uh, whatsoever. So, and then like when the story was done, it was like, "Hey, go get every item," but it's all RNG base. And oh. I know one of the last <laughs> items I had to go get. It was like, go to this particular dungeon, have like this certain stuff, and pretty much just chill there for a while until it shows up but it had like you know it was like the item with like the lowest rng so i'm pretty sure it took me like probably two to three hours just to get that one item to show up but uh man when i got that platinum i was so freaking happy i was like i am never touching this piece of trash ever again i will (laughs) never play its sequel like never again (laughs) I'm not even heard of it, to be honest. You're oh, not man. missing anything. <laughs> <laughs> to to block you from a sequel, no, you, you, you're done with the series. That's how bad it was. <laughs> well, I took a look at the sequel's trophy list. I was like, let me just see what it is, just out of curiosity. And I took a look at it, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going through this again, because this is worse than the first game. <laughs> Oh god. I'm like, I'm not going through this all over again. <laughs> How long did the platinum take? Oh man. Probably at least 30 hours if I had to guess. I, I don't know. That was back in January when I did that. But yeah, that's not so bad though. <laughs> of a game you hate yeah, but when it you... could feel like eternity. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Exactly. Uh... Yeah, fucking zero it took me like 30 odd hours, I think. And that felt like a year. <laughs> I kept going back to it in like tiny little increments. How long did uh how long did Avatar take? Like total play time, do you reckon? It's fifty five, I think. Fifty or fifty five. Jesus. <laughs> and mm. and after the Ooh. second hour, which is what you were watching when I did that base, that was the second hour I played it. I was finished. I was like yeah. done. <laughs> it's just it's not good. <laughs> yeah, and now there's yeah, and shout out to MTH in the Discord because he's going to do it. And I keep warning him, don't do it because he's 100% game. So he's got the, the DLC as well. I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. You will hate it. And he will hate You'll it. You'll see my no, answer he will. <laughs> Nope. Nope. It's got really bad reviews. <laughs> it's got worse reviews than the game. And the game is like, all the reviews are boring as shit. Nothing here. What are the quests? Why is it racist? <laughs> like every accent in the game. What? Just... Listen to every accent in the game, and it's like the most generically racist thing you could have in a Ubisoft game. <laughs> yeah, but that's it's like that in the films, though, isn't it? No, <laughs> no, it is. Nah, it's so it's so. Bad. So the the fact you're even thinking of a specific accent, <laughs> yeah, like that. It. I haven't uh, mentioned which African one it is. accent. <laughs> oh, no, African. Really? Generic? No, generic American. Just like box standard all the way through it. So they've not even done like the film accents nah. and stuff. Nah. Oh, Maybe yeah. on a couple NPCs I didn't speak to, but all the ones I spoke to, nope. See, we've wound <laughs> back at a back at Avatar now. <laughs> so much hatred there is for it. <laughs> it looks pretty damn boring. Like the combat so, was cool and that was it, but then the rest of it you were just kind of touching up flowers. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's my last one. Like we we've had a lot of Ubisoft games, so I think I'll, I'll give them a little bit of slack because there's two that I could put in my last one. Um, I'll put them as honorable mentions near the end, I guess. Um, I was I was scrolling through the PlayStation Extra catalog and I saw a game called Disaster Report Four. Um, and it's like this like it's this weird game where you're in Japan and there's like a giant earthquake and you've got to like survive it and like scavenge for stuff. And like, I was like, oh, I guess that looks kind of cool. It's horrible. Cool. It's, it's, oh. it's, 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 it's horrible. <laughs> like, like it, it plays really badly. Um, 
and there's so many missable trophies and like there wasn't a trophy guide on PSMP. Um so I found like this random trophy guide and I don't think it was like the guy's first language was English, so it was like mistranslated <laughs> sometimes and, and I was getting lost all the time and it was horrible. <laughs> so and like it was just so weird. I, I can't explain it unless you actually like see it. But it, it's not it starts off as a big earthquake and then at one point you're like scamming people and you jo- you join a cult or something and then what or something yeah <laughs> and then you get like kidnapped and there's like terrorists on a boat trying to blow you up and it's like what is happening <laughs> so, what style is it? is it like a first person game or something it's third person oh, okay. um, it's so strange man um but yeah don't don't play it <laughs> yeah so why you stay away from the random games on the store <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, you know, it could, could, could be interesting. It only took me a day to do it. But... Did a lucky dip and went wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should we move on to happier times then and get some good games on the list that we actually want to talk about? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll kick off with, with, a, with a very good game. I'm very happy I platinum this year. Um, I platinum this game when someone in the Discord who knows who they are said, I'm going to get stuck. It's too difficult. And I rinsed it. <laughs> and that is Liza P. I rinsed through Liza P. It was so easy. And I know there has been a patch since release to make it slightly easier. I think the patch included um, one boss hits slightly less hard and your spectre lives slightly longer. That was it. I had a look. So no addition to like throwables deal more damage or you've got to get better at dodging. Like it's like you can be like you don't have to be as good at dodging or blocking or whatever it is. All that's still the same. So anyone that had excuses going, this is the hardest thing ever. (laughs) Donkey's ass. It's so easy. It's very easy. You can exploit the game so easily. You don't have to level up. Just buy throwables and you can just run through this game. I did the nameless puppet on my second and third run first try each which is meant to be one of not only like the hardest thing in Liza P, but one of the hardest bosses in all of Souls, according to Souls players. And it wasn't hard. So I don't believe that. I think there's like, if you, if you play Dark Souls, if I play Dark Souls 1, I'm going to struggle a lot more than I played Liza P. I know that for a fact, but the actual platinum was a, wasn't great in terms of trophies because it's so many collectibles, but I enjoyed playing it all. I think I've put about 60 hours onto it after three full playthroughs and loved all of it. Other, other than maybe one collectible one, but I was more than happy running through because it's just 12 bosses. It's not like an incredible... By the last, I think the last playthrough took me five hours when I ran through it. So it's not it's not anything incredibly uh, long. So yeah, I, I put Liza P on there. I think it's one of my best Platinums as well that I've got um, in terms of another Souls. Souls games are always like a you know a sticker of good, of well done. So God's done. Uh, Got a, got a proper gold star with that with that game. I think I'm in the Souls Club after doing three Souls games now, so I'm like I'm in there. No Dark Souls games, but Souls like games, I should say. Yeah, hey, I've got a few extras on my list, but the okay. proudest one this year is definitely Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oh yeah, just an absolutely sure. amazing game. Obviously, it takes ages, and a lot of people put the game down after not very long because it's obviously hyper realistic rpg and a lot of people are like yeah screw that (laughs) it's too long even even just to play through the game but you know i stuck at it it took me several months um i had to have i had a massive break from gaming anyway um but yeah what an amazing game yeah it was it would have been even better if i was only doing the game and not going for the platinum to be honest but it did give me an excuse to do all the content so i'm happier that i went for the platinum than that just played the game mm. and it was amazing and it's just, yeah it's there forever now <laughs> it's such a good game and i'm really excited for the second one which i don't know if i'm gonna it depends on how long it is if i'm gonna do a video or just stream it or something but i'm definitely gonna get that at some point it looks incredible already from the gameplay they've released but yeah that's uh that's my proudest one this year and uh i'm gonna let someone else go because if someone's got a duplicate, I'll skip over and I can pick a different one. Mm. Go on, go on, stop. All right. 
So uh, I guess I'll say trying to pick what top three was not easy, but I'll go with the one that I did sell for third place. But I actually gave that one to two games because they're, you know, part of the series. And that is both of the Plague Tale games, Innocence and Requiem. So uh, I've heard great things about those games. And then I think they started off this year with Requiem being a free game on Plus, but I'd never played Innocence. So I bought Innocence and then played Requiem. And if you haven't played them, I highly recommend. The story is fantastic. Um, you know, a lot of stealth play and a little bit of, um, you know, some puzzle solving, but I would play those purely just for those stories with the brother and sister and, you know, the brother's kind of special in a way, not to mention, you know, you got rats all over the place that will just devour a yeah, human being did. within seconds. <laughs> but yeah, it'd been a while since I'd really played on um, a, a stealth game, but always wanted to play. I'm glad I got the opportunity to play both of them this year. And the Platinums are not that bad. Um, I think the first game is a little bit easier just because I know Requiem has some, like, I think it's, like, good, neutral, and bad, like, stuff, and you got to max them out. So, like, you... So, like, if you're good, that means, you know, you take more of the stealthy approach. If you're bad, that means, you know, you're more so killing people. So, first playthrough, I just focused purely on stealth. And then when I did the second playthrough, I only had to go, like, halfway through the game, but pretty much just killed everybody, fed them to the rats to finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But, yeah. But, yeah, definitely go play those games uh, sometime if you guys haven't. You won't be disappointed. I wanted to play them for ages. I just never got around to it. I just I remember seeing the gameplay when the the trailer when the first one was going to release, and obviously you got all the rats around you, and you're holding like a torch to keep them away and stuff. So yeah, it's like yeah. it reminds me of like the Krill and Gears Gears of War or the uh, the Rippers in Space Marine. <laughs> mm, yeah, mm. yeah, I, I really rate those games as well. I did a uh, I've done Innocence before. And I did Requiem this year too, and they're they're so good, really, really good. Uh, I'm gonna ch gonna cheat a little bit. Um, I'm gonna combine it f three into one <laughs> because I did. Oh, I know what you're picking. I know what you're picking, man. Yeah, I did. I did them back to back. Um, so I did the I did the Arkham trilogy this year. Um, oh, and, nice. And like, at some points, I was genuinely like pulling my hair out <laughs> because <laughs> the challenges were so hard. Um, especially in Arkham City, um, but oh, they're so good though. <laughs> it's just they're so good. Like and just like having Isn't them Arkham on like City, the hardest one to platinum, or it's like the yeah. rarest of the three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's because uh, the the Riddler challenges you need to do like three back to back, um, and you only get like mm. three lives, and if and you have to get like every essentially like star in each one as well um and if you if you if you fail you have to start all the way back at the beginning and it's it was horrible <laughs> so especially like when playing as catwoman as well it was just so stressful but yeah i don't know i'm so i'm so chuffed i got that done though yeah it's <laughs> impressive so a lot of riddler trophies a lot of riddles a lot of challenges a lot of Miles <laughs> driven in the Batmobile, but you know it's it's all good. We we did it. <laughs> I still haven't played any of them. <laughs> yeah, one day, one day you'll have to. Yeah, but you're not a massive Batman guy, so are you? So it's uh, you like Batman, but yeah. you don't like love Batman. I, I mean, I prefer Aquaman. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or beard beard Aquaman from. Injustice. Oh, Injustice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's so badass. In That's just Jason Momoa in Spandex. Um, all right, another another good one. So uh, I'm picking... It's not as number one. I'll leave that to it last. So um, I'm tied between it because the Platinum itself I didn't think was the worst thing ever to go on a bad list, but I didn't love it. So like the honourable mention is Black Myth because it took me a while. And I'm very happy with that one, but I'm not like, you know, woo everything about it. So 
my 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 second one is Alien Fire Team Elite because we did that and uh, Rat and I did that with Joe and that was one of the hardest things to do. But since that update where they allowed you to get all the packs for free instead of spending maybe six, seven hours to potentially get a card that was viable for the insane runs. Um, was it insane? I can't remember if that's the hardest difficulty name. Yeah, Whatever. I think so. Yeah, there, there was extreme insane and something else. Intense. Yeah, it was insane. Though. Yeah. yeah. So to yeah, so if you you needed to get either double health or double damage or something like that, and then with the right strategy, it was still very difficult. But we we managed to get through it, and I think we got about halfway just be, just below halfway through the game on insane before that patch came out. So we had done like high 80 percent i would say of the platinum without that update and as soon as the update came out it was like okay we're good to go let's do it let's get go it go, go 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 <laughs> yeah and and the, gr the grinding for guns and and the stars on the guns and getting all the outfit i love that doing the horde mode and just shooting xenomorphs is so fun i still want to play the i wish there was another dlc for it to be honest yeah just an excuse to go back on it i love that game so much so and as an alien fan it's a it's a very you know feather in the cap for that one so i'm happy it's uh when it came out people were saying it was a 10 out of 10 game it's since been reduced to like sevens and eights and nines and whatever people want to call it i would say it's a it's a like for me it was like a high eight or a nine out of ten that game was no joke no one not everyone's going to be able to do that and you'd need a good team with communication to do it so unless you're one of the best 20 in the world that can solo it which these videos are nuts but yeah, Fire Team Elite is top tier for, for this year for me. Well, if you yeah, want an excuse nice. to go back to that game, I still need the platinum on it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind actually coming back onto it, but I don't know if I could help Add with the insane the... run and, with, and keep my and keep my head for that. I'll do all the other runs. With you, but... <laughs> yeah. my, uh, my number two. Um... Oh, it's so tough. I shouldn't have even put extra on there. Uh, I'll, I'll just do honourable mention, mentions at the end, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to go number number two as... Oh, it's between Say it. <laughs> Dave the Diver and Stella Blade. Oh, fuck yeah. Because Dave the Diver is just... It's just it's so good. It's such a clean game with an amazing gameplay loop. And it's so damn funny. And like, yeah, it's just it's such a class game, it's so good. But then I suppose I'm gonna give it to Stellar Blade because that was also just a pretty perfect game, especially looking back in hindsight. It was just so fun, and obviously we all thought it was gonna be a Souls like at first, and um, and it it was a bit more actiony and stuff, but it still had all the bosses, and I think it was just a great mix of the two. And I wouldn't have typically thought I'd really get on with a game like that. I mean, it was more actiony, so it was more up my street in the end. But yeah, I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. Soundtrack was incredible. And I remember grinding the demo for ages to get a head start on the game and then doing like a 24 hour gaming session on it, <laughs> nearly killing myself. You did a uh, 24 hour session. I think you took a two hour, you did what I did with Black Myth. Then you took like a two hour break and then you did like another 20 odd hour session and then just yeah. kept going for the editing as well to get and out of the out. <laughs> yeah, it was like a four then, day, like non stop cycle. Yeah, I was gutted though. That's when my capture card was playing up. So the quality went poo poo. But, um, but yeah, no, that was an awesome game. And yeah, if they did an expansion on that, it's another game I'd go back to. I'd actually pay for DLC on that. It was really, really damn good, to be fair. I know there's that DLC at the moment they've got, but it's only it's only a character. So, um, but yeah, if they get brought up more content, bosses, things like that, that'd be cool. And I hope they do, because I, I assume it sold really well and did really well, especially now it's up for some Game of the Year awards, so mm. nominees in, like, action and soundtrack and all that. But, you know, hopefully that uh, um, bumps us out. physics. Well. Is Jiggle Physics a category? <laughs> best, best I don't know, but that would probably win. It would definitely that, win. <laughs> that and like, I don't know, just, just, just Genshin and Zenless kind of those sort of games would win it. Can't, can't be Eve uh, on. 
Well, yeah, she's based on a real model, I think, apparently. So, uh, you know, that, that gives them an advantage, doesn't it? That makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to go for that. Happened. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. Um, but yeah, Dave the Diver, honorable mention, amazing game. I'm so happy I did that because uh, it's just so much fun. Like, How it's fast good... is Dave the Diver to do? I think it took me like 30 hours. And I'd say, to, um, honestly, it was like a pretty perfect game. Like, it was just the gameplay loop was great. Um, but uh, my second b- favorite game of this year, and it's the only, I think it's the only one I've played in this whole series, and that was Fallout 3 on the good old PS3. So, okay. you know, that show, the show came out back in the spring, and the show is so good. Like, I cannot wait for season two. And yeah, God, that so that show definitely has my vote for like a video game movie or show done right. But um, I played like a little bit of Fallout Three, but uh, you know, watching the show got me in the mood, so I fired up the PS3 and I started it from the beginning. I think when I started, I had like twenty five trophies already earned on it, but mostly like story and side quest. But uh, I think that took me a good month to uh not only get the platinum but also get all the dlc trophies as well but i just had a lot of fun just going through that game the only thing i hated was the uh uh, occasional crash from the ps3 so (laughs) had to like make a lot of manual slave saves at certain parts just like, I know one DLC, it kept crashing every time I approached this one spot. So I was like, okay, just make manual saves as I get closer and closer. But eventually, the console decided to actually be nice and let me get through the story. But uh, <laughs> You're just auto-saving yeah. every five seconds in case it crashes. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Pretty much. But, uh, no, and, you know, I had just a lot of fun exploring that wasteland and you know, there was a lot of stuff actually I didn't realize I'd never discovered uh, before. But um, the only thing that was a little bit of a challenge at first was um, they have, I think, like nine level specific trophies where it says, like, reach level eight with good, neutral, and evil karma. And then it's like the same for, I think, 14 and 20. And it's the only follow up game that does that. So, you know, like making a manual save, like, right as I'm about to hit a certain level and then go adjust my karma at first i thought you know just you know just go murder a bunch of innocent people (laughs) in the wasteland (laughs) you know but then they said like in the megaton the first city you go to the the bar has a terminal on the back that if you just access the terminal like don't do anything to it just access it and then immediately get out of it that lowers your karma and it's a very quick way to get it down so but just had a blast with that game, and I actually would really like to go for another uh, Fallout Platinum for next year. Is that is that the only one you've done so far? Have you done New Vegas or Fallout 4? Yeah, that's the only one I've done. I mean, I've got New Vegas and 4 on my shelf, and then through PS Plus Extra, I've got Fallout 76. So I'm kind of tied between these two, because I guess they are a little bit similar in a way, but all right, number two, just because of what it is, number two is going to have to be Space Marine. Because um, mm-hmm. it's just like, if you're, if you're in the Warhammer, it's just like the best thing ever. <laughs> 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 um, the trophies are fun as well, and like like the whole thing, you can play like co-op as well, and it's just, there, there wasn't anything like too difficult. Like you had to grind at the end to get a class to max level, um, but that wasn't too bad. Um yeah, you know, then you had to get like forty-one thousand kills, but again, you're just killing hordes and hordes of Tyranids, which that's never going to get boring. So it's just, it's kind of like Fire Team, like the grind at the end. Like it's just, it's just too good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. Um, another but, perfect game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really strong. Yeah, um, with some stuff that's come out, but. Uh, I, Honorable mention as well to Helldivers 2. Because just like in terms of like a co-op game, like just playing that is just so much fun. Like the trophies aren't too hard and like, you know, some of them you have to like really communicate with each other and that because obviously there's friendly fire and 
and stuff. I think there's like a trophy where you have to go a whole level without doing any friendly fire like amongst your team. Um, I think we yeah, did that, that was one, tough for us. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was really hard. <laughs> don't fire. Have no one in the team like fire a primary weapon for yeah. like, the whole thing. Like that was quite tough because if you, as soon as you finish your magazine on your sidearm, uh, it swapped to your main weapon automatically and fired. Like if you're out, so you had to watch your ammo on the sidearm very carefully. <laughs> yeah, Just, yeah, and that's tough. And obviously you've got the big, like, still got, like, big bugs chasing you and stuff. And, like, yeah. you know, you're throwing down those stratagems, like, you call down, like, a nuke. And you just got to hope that your mates aren't in range of it. <laughs> so it's just... Which we always were. <laughs> like, yeah. You're always in range of it. You just got yeah. a leg blown off. <laughs> yeah. But they're both both amazing games. Like, but, yeah. Yeah. Th- those are my number two. It's crazy, the hype with Helldivers and how good that community was. And then it just died. And fell off a cliff. Yeah, they ruined it. Uh, it's still fun though. I played it um last month. Um and they've added like a bunch of really cool like 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 caustic weapons and stuff. Um nice. but yeah. It, yeah, it was like a good it was a good month when it came out. <laughs> so Yeah, it was a good a good uh good time for gaming back then. <laughs> yeah. My final game is uh Cyberpunk. I plan on Cyberpunk at the start of the year after JC was telling me to play it for four years. And I said, I don't want to. I want to wait till the PS5 release an actual copy for it, a full PS5 copy. And they did, including the DLC, Phantom Liberty. And I played through it. I immersed myself in it. And it's in my top five games ever made, for sure. Like comfortably in there. I don't know which order it's in, but it's in there. It's... A near perfect game. I had no bugs, no mess ups, no nothing, no crashes. It was written absolutely perfectly. It probably ran how they expected it to run from launch. I got that experience, so I didn't have any like prejudice towards the game in any way. I thought the story's perfect, characters are perfect. I can't wait to do a second run on the game. I'm gagging for a Cyberpunk 2 now. It got me super into I, I, I watched I think Edge Runners before I played the game as well. So I had the opposite experience of when people play the game and then watch Edge Runners. They're like, oh, I know that part. That's a little hidden thing from the game. That's a hidden thing from the game. Like uh, when they find Johnny's jacket in Edge Runners, all that sort of stuff. And then I had it the opposite way around where I was going, oh, that's from Edge Runners. Oh, that's from Edge Runners. Oh, he's got the spine thing. Oh, he's got blah, blah, blah. So all the cybernetics I was just in love with. Plus, you can just do anything in that game. Anything you want. You can run as fast as you want. You can jump as high as you want. You can control people. You can blow up a car from 30 yards away with your mind. I mean, it's <laughs> oh, it's, it's incredible. They are and just the best on. games to, to giving you freedom. Just like the like uh, GTA and Red Dead. And then, like obviously, Cyberpunk. Just get yeah. games that are so out there like that. Even like, yeah, those are just amazing. It, like the Graphic-wise, I'm not a graphic whore when it comes to games. As long as the gameplay uh, core is great. I'm happy, um, but this like blew me away. I was so happy with the graphics on it as well, and just driving a car in that game in first per like in the you know when it's in the cockpit of the car is is just perfect. You could just cruise around all day doing that in that game. So um, yeah, I can't wait to go back to that because it was just so much fun. But yeah, I think I think Cyberpunk is probably one of the best platinum I've ever had as well. And I and when I was doing all the endings, I think there's four endings, for, like tr- four trophies for endings, but there's five altogether. I was wanting more endings. I was like, what else can we throw in here? I, I love doing it, so I didn't want that one to end. And I was very sad when it did end because it's when you're doing platinums, it's almost like, well, do I go back and just play it again now, or do I continue with the next next game? And I haven't gone back to it, but I will because it's amazing. Maybe I'll make a new account. Platinum. You do the uh, do the PS4 stack. Yeah, do, yeah. Is, I think that one's the one that bugs out a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's all right now though. Yeah. Is it all right now? The PS4. It was, just, okay. it, was it was horrible on release. That's why I never platinumed it. I've got like seventy odd percent because I went to one of the, all I had to do was clean up all the gigs, and then yeah. one of them was um, you just it probably just go into a building, shoot a few people, then it's done. It was that, uh, but the door wasn't accessible. It's just broken. 
so Same like thing. yeah and it didn't get fixed no matter what i did so yeah it's just something as simple as that um so you'd have had to that. redo it like redo the game and get to that point Pro to probably would have had to yeah but yeah it was like it was obviously i'd done everything else I would, all i had to do was the endings and then um and then that and the gigs so but it gives me an excuse to one day do it on ps5 maybe and then obviously yeah it'll be a better experience anyway it's damn good beat that um <laughs> <laughs> uh mr ratman picked space marine 2 that was gonna be my, my number one but it gives me a chance to talk about my bonus and with space marine 2 i've already gone into into that a lot when we did the we talked about the game of the year nominees in whichever uh section they were in and shout out to optimistic human and platinum adam i've i've uh sent them clips of my game of the year that's space marine 2 once again so yeah i think we've uh I've, I've established how much i love that game and how amazing i think it is um but yeah i'm gonna just mention then honorable mention is resident evil 5 uh, yeah because just, yeah it's one of my it's my fate i haven't played many resident evils because i prefer playing horror games in co-op so Resi 5 was just so good for me to to be able to play. And I lo I've loved it. So I've played like the PS3 version, PS4 version, and now I've played it on the PS5, even though it is an older version. But yeah, and I to finally platinum it, I'm just so happy with it. So I'm just... That was yeah, good fun. So, yeah, exactly. It was so much fun. Like I'd, I'd literally... I, I would do that game again straight away, to be honest. Like, I'd just, they are doing yeah, a new... They're, they're doing a PS5 version of it at the moment. Well, are they doing a full-on remake like number I, two, yeah, three, four? I think, I think so. It, w it was teased at the end of Resi Four Remake, so it oh. could be coming. And we'll we'll be doing it. Absolutely, I would. Yeah, <laughs> that is probably one of my favorite games. I just yeah, because I've got it's good so nostalgia memories. Nostalgia is a is a is a strong thing. So yeah, pinning the zombie that. into a corner and just shouting "Welcome to London" and stabbing him. <laughs> <laughs> So we would do yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> new, uh, our new editing as well, and I'd be able, we'd have, be able to do it a lot better and get more gameplay in there. We could do well. Some, we a really we'll, good we'll, video with that. We'll put, we'll say it here then, because we'll get back to Resi Six soon then, because co-op ones will yeah. be fun to do again, especially with our limited time. So we'll do a co-op. The Resi, Resi 6, Six, the 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 hour or two we did. Uh, so far, I, I, <laughs> I think I I, la I haven't laughed harder this year like then when uh we played resi 6 because it that, yeah it's absolutely hilarious <laughs> it's, the, it's the dumbest game i think i've ever played it's it's, it's so it's incredible. a great game it's a great yeah. game I like it's it. not a great resi game but it's a great yeah. co-op it's, an, am it's an amazing game yeah but it's yeah. a yeah. bad resi game <laughs> so. But, it's yeah, like we, number we five. Did. Number five is really out there, isn't it? And like just different. But so a lot of fans probably didn't like it. But, but I think it's amazing. And it is a yeah, bit mental. You're, like, fight you're, at the end. <laughs> so you're fighting Wesker in a bloody volcano. Like what the hell? <laughs> punch you remember and punch on the boulder. <laughs> yeah, punch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> when I, I think at the end, when you fire the rocket, or when you have to grab uh, Sheva from the plane. I missed those quick time events because I was oh, playing yeah. Chris Redfield. <laughs> and he so, catches it, doesn't he, or something? Oh, yeah, so like, oh, yeah, like, or he just doesn't detonate, and he's like, he just syringes, like, he just throws his arm up and just destroys the heli, or you drop the <laughs> and she just goes, ah, just falls forever. <laughs> and Jordan was like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm dead, <laughs> and we have to redo the whole section again, watching the whole clip, and yeah, it's like, sorry, <laughs> you rely on each other, which is why it's great. But yeah, yeah, and it's, it's just it's good, and it was just uh, Wesker going, Chris, Chris. <laughs> seven <laughs> minutes is all I can spare. <laughs> yeah, that's it. you have seven, seven minutes. minutes. <laughs> that was so good. There's oh, no that's point. A, that's a great pick. You see, <laughs> I think that's the, I think that you did beat Cyberpunk. That might be the best pick. To be fair, <laughs> that's a really good pick. Yeah. So um, before I say my number one, I have two honorable mentions from this year the first one is uh the first remnant from the ashes like uh Ooh, when i was game. actually when i was actually playing my number one game i was playing this game on the side and just had a blast like i loved the gunplay on that 
and um, you know I was playing that with um, Gurubara, who you all have seen pop into my chat on stream the last few times, and yeah, uh, he and I need to go through the DLC someday together. But uh, you know, I never really sat down and just played Remnant, and you know, I love Souls game like games, and you know, that game was just so much fun. <laughs> Like, especially with, like, how the map changes every time you go to one of the worlds. And then the other one I have is actually a, another game. Like, I played the Vita version, but I know it has a PS4 version. And that is uh, Yeez 8 Lacrimosa of Donna. Ooh. That was... It's a... It can be a what? long <laughs> RPG. What is that? But... <laughs> what? Oh, it's amazing. It's such it, a good action RPG. It really is. Like, the Ye series has been around for a while but i think it only really like came into the present day spotlight because of this game it came out a few years ago but basically the story is is like um is these people traveling on a giant ship they get shipwrecked onto like an island and it's like you know you can't leave the island you're just stuck there forever but there is a connection between the main character and um donna who is like from like five thousand years in the past but it's just an open world um hack and slash rpg and there's just so much to do in that game it's a lot of fun and it probably actually has one of the best soundtracks i've ever heard in a game yeah like just yeah, everywhere yeah. you go every soundtrack that kicks them was just a winner so you have the link to this honorable. game now yeah i think i <laughs> vaguely yeah, know I'll what you're on about you. Has it got, yeah, I mean, it's a bit, not, not enough detail, but it has like a, the, the Y is like really prolific on the logo or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, I kind of vaguely know. I've seen it. My number one game probably won't really come as a surprise to you guys, but uh, my number one platinum for this year is Dark Souls Remastered. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that, <laughs> wow. Congrats. Like, Very good. I mean, I've, I've platinumed many, uh, quite a few Souls <laughs> games, quite a few from software, but never platinumed any of the dark souls games but the first dark souls game is one of my all-time favorite game games probably my favorite souls game of all time but uh <laughs> interestingly enough um i was getting close to 300 platinums and i know knew i wanted number 300 to be a a special milestone so i think when i was at like 270 i decided it would be dark souls remastered so and you know, another special thing with that one is uh, that's the first game I ever streamed as well. So, you know, I was you about to say it was a good stream as well. I got to see it. Yeah, so you guys got to see quite a bit of the uh, journey for that platinum, but just you know, such a great game. Like I love the lore. The as punishing as it is, they have fantastic you know creatures to fight. How they're designed. You know the. The, probably the biggest challenge boss fights aside in that game is um there's like a trophy for for maxing out like the highest tier of every kind of crafting like i think um like some of like max out a weapon like the most with like fire lightning magic you know that stuff so there is a lot of stuff to go find but you know huge open world um and I think it still holds up really well today with, you know, some of the games from software has put out. So, you know, Lewis, since you're becoming a veteran Souls player these days, why don't you go give it a shot? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. that's that's my number one for this year. Very nice. Good list. I, th I think Lewis has to do Souls games soon. He yeah. smashed out Elden Ring ages ago. <laughs> so... <laughs> Elden Ring was amazing. I, yeah, I put like 350 hours, I think, across two versions of it. Oh, it's... Uh, oh, yeah, easy. Uh, uh, my friend Peppa Pig. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was great, man. That was, uh, that was one of the best 57 minutes of my life. What, what was the highlight <laughs> of that Platinum journey? Oh, There's a bit where you go to the museum. <laughs> The bit where you delete it. <laughs> uh, and then, like, you, you go on a hot air balloon at one point. That was really good. Um, nice, nice. But, fair, no. You lost that bet fair and square, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I did. I did. So, um, but I, th I think number one's probably going to be Infinite Wealth. 
Um, because just what, just what a game, man! Like mm -hmm. it's just it it just took everything from like a dragon and just made it so much better. Like it just gave it so many quality of life like upgrades and like the map in Hawaii was really fun to like run around. Like the mini games were fucking crazy. Um there's like an animal crossing section where you have to like build an <laughs> island. Um there's a there's one where you have to like deliver burgers on a bike and you're doing flips over buildings and stuff. Uh, and it's just it's just yeah, it's and it's like it's not hard as well. Like in terms of like Yakuza platinums, I think they are getting easier. Um like from Yakuza six onwards. Um but and it, and if if anyone is interested, you don't have to play Mahjong in this one. Uh so I'm sure that's a selling point. That's not really a Yakuza game it's then, selling is selling point. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm sure some people will be happy with that, but it's just awesome. Like I just just I just want more people to play that play the series. I know S Dub's playing Ishin at the moment on stream, um, which is great. Um Yeah, I watched you play a bit of that. It looks really cool. It looks like yeah. right up my street. It might be my entry to the series because I love all the mm. yeah, feudal feudal my... Japan stuff. I mean I mean I played like half of Zero's story and then like just put it down a couple of years ago. But um, so you know, technically this is my second Yakuza game, but yeah, I've like fallen in love with this, and uh, I'm pretty sure Jordan's enjoyed uh, trolling me at times in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's oh man, I, yeah. I just, I just want more people to play the franchise. That's, that's they it. are, I, they are very hard games to stick with. Not because they're bad, but because they are so detailed, and so, you get overwhelmed by so much stuff in it that the average person that picks it up will after 60 70 hours like i've got what 70 hours on like a dragon the first one and i'm nowhere near finishing it and it's like okay well i've probably got another 60 70 to go and it's quite overwhelming of going i've got to do so much and if you put it down and go back to it you're like what where am i what am i doing like you yeah. knew the map and i was like what, what am i doing you're like go here go here this will get you back into the game and i was like okay <laughs> i don't know where i'm going I'm just following your lead now it's they're they're not easy games to to jump in and out of. You have to just stick with it and just do the whole thing in one go, and that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah. But then you're you're trapping yourself in a 150 hour cycle of maybe, and it's and it's the best time of your life. <laughs> so, <Damn it. laughs> so, Riding so. a bicycle, collecting trash is pretty fun as a mini game. To be fair, yeah. <laughs> it, was really, it was really good. This is this is the moral of the, moral of the podcast. Play play Yakuza. There you go. <laughs> so, there yeah, you go. Uh, yeah I, I will one day. One day. I, to be fair, I played a little bit of Yakuza Zero. I got like one trophy, and then never played it again. That's just that's just reason. <laughs> I was like, it's, oh, it's, like, one, it's yeah. like Persona Five with all the mini games, and then I was like, nah. <laughs> oh, God. way worse. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> nice. That was a good list, guys. Good and bad. bad yeah, good. yeah, we definitely had some stinkers. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it just, it just comes from going for trophies, I guess, doesn't it? Yeah. So. yeah. Good game, bad lists. Bad trophy lists. Yeah, yeah as long as sure. we can separate the two. And, like, you know, admit when a game is really good, but the trophies suck ass. So, Honorable mention right. to yeah. Star Wars Dark Forces. Great oh, yeah. trophy. Great trophies. <laughs> Playing that beast from the 90s again. on the PS5 is like a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> like, Woohoo! Any old game for me. Yeah, I haven't got any more. Um, I guess a like, dishonorable mention, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Like, dishonorable mention. Dishonorable. <laughs> yeah, I had a bug trophy in that. Um, that was oh, really annoying. No. Um, classic ubisoft again Boo. yeah yeah just moral of this podcast as we bring it to a close is just ubisoft ubisoft really shit it, ubisoft <laughs> like, <hates yeah>. trophy <laughs> hunters. Late, lately they like the last however many years they have just not been on it failure yeah. after failure i mean i can throw out another one um ghost recon breakpoint 
again i did that this year that was like not great <laughs> it was just <laughs> it's just not great it's just boring the yeah get your get your shit together ubisoft <laughs> i'm right yeah because they're gonna watch this <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Bring it to a close. But yeah, no, that's a good list, guys. Good list. Good and bad. I don't know who wins that, but I think S Dub's done the hardest games. <laughs> oh, always. The, you know, the I'm always doing hard games. He's, he's the elder <laughs> for a reason. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we need black cloaks on and torches. <laughs> yeah. A ritual. And a goat. Whoa. And a goat, yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, awesome. Cool.